Hello and welcome to Brit Twits. My name is Alex, I'm a Twit of the Controller, and I'm joined today here by Dan, who's looking very happy with himself. Yes. Dan, what's going on? I'm just I'm just really excited um because we're back recording Final Fantasy and I I, I love I love recording Final Fantasy. So I'm very happy, Alex. I'm just in a I'm in a good mood. That's good. Yeah. Good. If you like being in a good mood, then subscribe. Please. I think you should probably leave the marketing to me. I'm not gonna lie to you, Alex. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> Just like, we don't really mind. Like most, I think a lot of our subscriptions actually come from offhand incendiary comments. It's nothing to do with what we do. Uh, so, well, I mean, you do always sign off all all of your like all your like shit posts with at like at the Brit Twitch <laughs> YouTube channel. <laughs> I got to get myself back on Twitter. I'll be allowed on now. Elon's in control. <laughs> Right, so last episode, yeah, we uh, we we beat Arms McGee, um, yeah, the, big arms the, chocobo, the, chocobo, the chocobo eater, and yeah, um, yeah he's it, like, it turns out that yeah he's a bit of a pushover really, and uh, he can cast Quite blizzard from, he can pass cast blizzard from his back, <laughs> blizzard from his so uh, honestly I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, he was he was surprisingly easy. You made it look really easy, and I remember that being very difficult as a kid. Yeah, well. You know, surprise, surprise, I'm better at stuff than a small boy. True, true. That's on my LinkedIn. <laughs> Not all things, just, no. just some things. No, no, I mean, like, if you, last time I tried the trim, chimney sweep, I fucked that up. Like, something chronic. Anyway, so so we've got some more Mihen High Road to travel, haven't we? Let's go. Yeah, so what we're going to do is they've offered us free chocobos, but. I'm not going to accept we, we, we don't like charity, do we? No, we, we're not a big fan of charity, so no, look, we'll, we'll walk. Yeah, we'll walk. We don't need your charity. She was impressed. She saw the fight. These knights <laughs> saw the fight and they were impressed. And they were like, yeah, no, we're not getting involved. We're yeah. just not getting involved. Don't need our help. Um, we're only trained soldiers specifically employed for this task. With, 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 uh, with ranged weaponry. <laughs> <laughs> we could have easily have weighed in at any time. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to totter down the, the top of the high road. You can do this on chocobos much quicker. We're not going to do that because, to be honest, if there's one thing that I think we probably need to do is, is level up and do more admin. <laughs> um, so we're going to be oh. doing that for a little bit. Oh, critical hit. You know. Oh, yeah. You know, she's she's galvanised now. You know, she's had a good night's sleep. <laughs> straight in the ice bath, ready for the next day. Uh, we'll use we we'll use the mog for this. Now I'm not just being stupid. If you have an a, a distill manner ability or equivalent on your stuff, then it basically gives you a free extract ability each time you hit. So there is there actually go. a reason for doing it. Um, something I continually forget to do whenever it's been a while since I played these games is just keep extracting. Because you will run out of spheres. It's one of like the worst things in the game. Is when you like you could level up, but you haven't got any spheres to level up into. Mm. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think that might actually be the reason why they took it out in subsequent games. Um, what? What? Because did, it was definitely. I can't remember what they replaced it with. Because um, because I know I know it's dress spheres in X2, isn't it? Which is like basically different classes. But that's not yeah, really think... the same thing, is it? No, I mean, like, in that game, they went back to, like, straight leveling up. Yeah. And they just added dress spheres, and you could level up within the dress sphere, which I think is pretty, pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, 10-2 was, was actually quietly a good game. It just was very cringy. I, I, I mean, as I said as I said in the past uh, uh, previous episode, I, I really enjoyed the game, like, when, when I first picked it up. Yeah, it's where you learn most of your massage tips, isn't it? All of them. All of them. To be honest, just being oh, so you, you screamed you at by the block. You didn't get a magic sphere or anything like that. So what was the so oh, a mana sphere? Is it? Mana sphere. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I wasn't paying enough attention. Maybe I was wrong. Who's to say? What does the steel mana do? Let's look at it. I was pretty Let's sure. It. it might just be that it's a percentage chance. That yeah. percentage might be zero. I could be completely Oh, wrong. so it, w it, is, it is supposed to drop a sphere instead of what it would normally drop. Oh, so they just didn't 
Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. maybe because you did a, a, a sphere extract as well. Oh, I see it. that I cancelled it. Yeah, and possibly. Don't know. Is that definitely? Is it no, it's not definite at all. It's, it's it's an it's an, it's a con it's an idea. Um, I don't Concept. I don't know how any of this works. So. This is why we need Joel. Joel this is knows why we need how Joel. Works. Joel. Joel is all about knowing things. All right. Oh, oh God. Oh, hello. <laughs> She's been killed. <laughs> Sorry, that was my free chocobo. Now we know why it was fucking free. Don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we should have let you got eaten. Oh, bomb, bomb, bombs. Ugh. You know what we're going to do. Is it cheese it? No. <laughs> no. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. The kill the big horrible gory thing. And then let these bombs fight if for it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, cheesing it, yeah. Oh, I thought we would cheese it as in to run away. No, to flee. No, no, no. Got you covered. Oh. Anytime you fancy getting out of the way, Lily, you uh... What I enjoy is, is, uh, is, is, what's that floating around her now? Uh, it's basically, she's got an item, which is SOS Null, I think, tight. So basically, whenever she's at low health, she gets a free Null tight. Okay. And that means that if you get hit by a water attack, you can say, not today, fella. Which is which is un unhelpful in this fight, but... Yeah, but in, and it's actually, un it's actually pretty unhelpful for most of the game. Very few things. I think it's um, Macalania um, Woods is the only place you actually buy anything with specific does water damage when they do that. But it's a completely unhelpful thing unless someone just casts a magic spell on you. Yeah, oh, no. free health, which doesn't. So, also one of the things I know. So I, I watched back um, the episode where we fought Belgamini two hat, Belgamini two hats, and um, her Ifrit had insane levels of health. Because you did like two and a half thousand damage to him at one point. Yeah. I think it's probably got about two or... Um, sorry, I can't have two. That, that, because otherwise we would have won. Which yes. we didn't. Which you didn't. Um, I'm remembering that now. It's been <laughs> such a long time. Since <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's got somewhere between three and four thousand. It must be. I think it the intention is that you can only win if you Grand Summon. Hit them with the Overdrive from the Grand Summon. It will then just sort of flail in effectually because it's doing the tutorial and when you hit it with another overdrive but we didn't prep in any way for that fight because we haven't prepped for any of the fights no what what, what okay so explain to me what grand summoning is because i actually have no idea grand summons just the overdrive that Yuna's got she doesn't learn any other overdrive okay she just effectively every time she gets a new aeon just adds to her list of things she grand summon okay and all grand summon is is that they get a free overdrive but once you've done that overdrive, it doesn't reset the meter, it resets it to wherever it was prior to the Grand Summon. Right. So it's possible to chain overdrive on the unit. That's cool. Um, there you go. So like at this point, she's pretty good. She's, but only if you remember to do that. Now the problem she's got is, we'll find this later on, but all of them start with a specific type of overdrive um, level up thing called Stoic, which is they only get more overdrive when they take damage. Um, right. Later on, this changes, so you get one when you deal damage, you get one when you heal things. All sorts. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, left this book behind. Yeah, that's good news. I know she's okay. You can see her just down the road. <laughs> I'm really concerned. Because she's with the Machen. Tedious people in all the <laughs> Spira. <laughs> and I know it's going to make me talk to them. Match made in heaven. Oh, I was hoping it would be an encounter. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so so the more you know with um, with regards to how how uh, overdrives work with, uh, with the hang on. Pretty cool. yeah, it's um it's helpful to know more about it because like a lot of the bosses in the game can be very easily overcome with a little bit of knowledge about how overdrives work. Yeah, um, like the most cursory knowledge of how they work. Like if you're able to get Waka's second overdrive attack reels. <laughs> Um, you basically don't need to do anything else other than level up with overdrive for a lot of the game, and you'll probably be all right. Uh, is it? It's like super powerful, isn't it? If I'm rightly. Basically, you get um, a number of hits 
equal to what you get on the roll. Yeah. And you get between zero and two for each one. Yeah. And if you get uh, the same, if you get the same number three times, you double it. So I think he does like twelve hits in one go, which is obviously reasonably good. It's insane. That's really cool. reasonably good. Yeah. Um, the only thing that's bad about his overdrive is the fact you have to go through Blitzball. Blitzball! Blitzball! To, to um, get them. Yeah. That's not actually a problem. It's because Blitzball's banging. But the issue with it is that you probably don't have hours and hours to spend on Blitzball and not advancing the story. And they only randomly appear. I was going to say, it's not... Um, it's not, uh, it's not. It doesn't always happen. From right, it is, it is a random don't make choice. Us talk to you. <gasps> well, you, you to, got to anyway. To <laughs> you got to anyway. Now it's my choice. Would you like to hear he's literally he's silent. ignored her. <laughs> Not, Not one, one bit. bit. <laughs> I mean, if you were role playing as you. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today. Please. We are currently. That actually reminds me. I was yeah, the other day. I was in a in a in a card shop buying a greeting card. That is or was an and a uh, the lady behind the till, she said to me, she just was like, "Oh, would you like to buy a charity pen? You know, like the the nodding of the head you do, just to indicate that you're at least open to hearing what they have to say." Yeah. So I thought did that, which was a mistake, because <laughs> she then rattled off. She was like, "We've." You know, we've we've raised 1.5 million this year, and I was like, "It's a lot of money." This, I was like, "What in this shop?" <laughs> it's a lot of money. And she just said no, and just I mean, just went oh, and just looked down, and she just didn't charge me for the pen, just charged me for the card, and I just was on my way with no further words spoken. So you, whoever you are, so you stole a pen from charity? <laughs> no, I didn't get the pen. <laughs> I should have nicked the pen. <laughs> She, it would have been too awkward for her to stop me. <laughs> what would she have done? She, what, what would have happened? Um, you would just felt bad um, on account of charity is good. And it depends what the charity is. What was the charity? Can you remember? I don't think it was one of the evil ones. Oh, that's good news. Um, I don't think it was. I don't think it was something like bring back chemical warfare. Or yeah. something. You know what I mean? It was like. I think it might have been something like, you know, Ma Mustard Sunshine gas. Club. Pretty or something. all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you considered Chlory? <laughs> <laughs> the Sarin Appreciation Society. <laughs> With none oh, of those man. charities. Um, to be fair, I wouldn't have given to them anyway, because, you know, I have a weekly, I have a weekly subscription anyway. I want their newsletters. Uh, but, um, <laughs> Well. Saren was right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, again, references no. to Mass Effect. Let's play. Watch it. Um, I mean, I was referring to the to the gas used in the 1940s through 1960s. The Saren. Oh, fuel. I was I was referring to Mass Effect because that my life is games. Also, that would have been significantly more relevant to the, the thrust of the channel <laughs> than just me talking about harmful chemicals. Oh my again. god. I'll stop talking about harmful chemicals. I, I, I wonder if those two things are actually linked, though. I wonder, oh, or if that—that that is why they named him that. Do you know? I—I I would like that if they did. It sounds like something the master, like the, the Bioware, would do. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But that said, I would have liked it. If, like, do we know if Benezia is a harmful chemical? <laughs> I'm googling right now. Is Benezia a harmful <laughs> chemical? It just says not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, not after what it, 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 it really came up with with um, with uh, Major Art Benezia. Well, that that indicates to me that it is not. It is not a harmful. Ke I would say it isn't. <laughs> oh God! So. I, I literally started writing is is sarin it came up is sarin gas illegal and yes it is it is yeah <laughs> which is why they're trying to bring it back then because <laughs> I, I don't really understand why it's illegal but then again i am very ignorant okay i don't actually know how much 
how explosive that bomb's getting now. It's pretty my, big. My, it's going to be pretty my explosive. Guess is quite explosive. It's going to be very. <laughs> it's ready to boom. That is ready to boom, isn't it? So, how shall we do this? Can you handle this? Oh, she just cast Blizzard like like loads of times. Yeah, that's it. If you get it, if you get the uh, mashing. All right, yeah. Overkill. I have got to get used to using that one because that particular overdrive is quite difficult is it, to achieve. Is it a button mashy? I can't remember exactly. You have to spin the wheel. That's it. It's spinning the uh, analog stick, isn't it? Yeah. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> spin that wheel. Anyway. <laughs> like, uh, it's definitely one of the ones that I find harder, particularly now that we're not using the, the old PlayStation DualShocks. Because oh. with these, obviously, they've got the slight, um, the slight octagonal thingy on them. Well, I was going to say, I, I was going to say, particularly now, considering the um, all the arthritis. Yeah, considering my thumbs. Yeah, considering the fact you don't actually have thumbs, they're just additional fingers for you. <laughs> I'm like a cat. <laughs> right, so these these urchins are delivering food. Oh, Sin's gonna eat us. Mum said Sin eats bad people. Well, your mum's not wrong. <laughs> but it's more violent than that. Oh, hello, Lady No Pants. <laughs> Sorry, Lady No Pants no and, and her side piece. <laughs> smack piece even, sorry. <laughs> sorry, ma'am. No exceptions. Except for these guys. They can go. It's extremely important that we're able to get ourselves over to the <laughs> weird, like, Playboy bunny party that's going on the other <laughs> side of this. Can you not see I am dressed for it? <laughs> well, we have successfully got ourselves over here. Let's get involved in this conversation yeah. here. Oh, it's you. Hold on, I don't be like that. As you can see, not even summoners can pass. But I'm not a summoner. It wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be beautiful if, if literally the guy here, a little security guard, like, meantime, no, we raised objection to your like terrible wardrobe choices. Like, this is a war, an active war zone. This is a holy place, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> right. So oh, I bless. think we call it there. Yeah. In readiness for our walk up behind into this little cart thing and to whatever horrendous end we are likely to face. More chocobo eaters. <laughs> more! Even more. We're actually, we're not going to stop with one. We're going to stop. we've got a taste for chocobo eaters. We're, we're going to hunt them down. We're going to be the chocobo eater eater. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we're going to, we're going to start hunting regularly. We're talking nights. We know their sleeping patterns now. Yep. We know their weaknesses. We know their food choices. We know that, that we know they've got stumpy little legs and big arms. We know that they're likely to fall over. We're going to have a whack of saucers, half a dozen chocobos. We're going to start using them as bait to aggressively hunt that chocobo eater and its family. I think I think I think I think it's about time. This is how the the game Monster Hunt Hunter starts, isn't it? <laughs> this is literally like the beginning of that game as far as I'm concerned. Chocobo Eater Hunter 2. <laughs> well, if you've enjoyed today's episode, why not give us a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever we you know, put something up on the old YouTube, which it's called is usually usually on a Friday. Isn't it's it? called yeah. uploading. Yeah, so so uh, we, we're still doing we're it. still doing Final Fantasy Fridays, and um, and very soon we'll be bringing back Mass Effect and doing Mass Effect Mondays. So. Uh, that, that's that's where we're gonna be on your way bye